En este video, en el Senado de los Estados Unidos, se cuestionó a testigos de la audiencia sobre si apoyan a ser legal el aborto de un niño por nacer hasta el momento del nacimiento. Quiere decir que se está proponiendo permitir que las mujeres puedan abortar por cualquier motivo y en cualquier momento, incluso justo horas, minutos o segundos antes de dar a luz. Mira el video completo y dime si estarías de acuerdo con este tipo de leyes o no. Sin más mayor dilación, comencemos. Professor Goodwin, help me understand your point of view. Um, I think this is a yes or no question. Do, do you support um, it being legal to abort an unborn child up to the moment of birth. Senator Kennedy, it is not a yes or no question. I support women like Ms. Zerowski. Women no, ma'am, no, ma I, I don't, I, 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 I think it is a yes or no question. No, well, if, let if, me if answer. If there were a law That's, I'm just trying to understand your perspective, and I'm not accusing you of this. Of course but, not. But, but, you know, people sort of talk around this issue. If there were a bill that said that a, a woman has an unfettered right to abort an unborn baby for any reason up to the moment of birth, would you vote yes or would you vote no? Senator Kennedy, I refuse to be shackled by your question. What yeah. I have answered is that there are conditions you, that you, you occur don't know whether pregnancy. you would vote yes or no. There are conditions during pregnancy that mean after 10 weeks, no, 14 I said weeks, I said 20 weeks, discretion. 24 weeks, you, you conditions would, you such would as Mr. Roski. You're here advocating. I would support her life. You, I, I would support I would her too, personhood. But, but you're advocating a law. I support her personally. You're advocating a law that says that an unborn baby can be aborted up to the moment of birth for any reason, are you not? Let me clarify what the 14th Amendment says in the first sentence, that citizens of this United States are individuals that are born. That is what our Constitution says. But, but Do you support you our Constitution? My question? Professor, I'm not trying to argue. I just want to understand what your position is. And I think you're afraid to say that you do support that. If you do support it, I think you, for just for the purpose of a, of an intellectual discussion, you ought to just say so. For purposes of an intellectual discussion, I'm happy to have that with you. But well, that's could not you answer my, Could you answer my question? Do you support, please? I mean, you teach. Okay, I'm sure you've had students ask this question. Do you, support, do you support making it legal to abort an unborn baby for any reason, any reason, up to the moment before birth? Senator, let's have that intellectual discussion that okay. you want. We could start if you'd answer And, my question. I can't go well, to my next question until you answer that question. Well, I want you to be able to go to your second and your third answer questions. I do. But as I have explained... There are many different conditions. No, I said unfettered discretion. No conditions. I'm no. making it easy for you. Well, I have already shared with you, okay. Senator, that I, I support. Get it. I don't want to use all my time. You're not going to answer, it. and Rossi's that is your right. But I would, I would respect you more if you just say, I, "Here's I'm my answer." I'm sorry that you don't respect I me do very respect much. You, but I said I'd respect you more if you no. just answer my question, uh, Doctor. Tell me how to say your last name. Ms. Dr. Rubenhorst, uh, do you support a law that would allow, for any reason, unfettered discretion, the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the abortion of an unborn child up until the moment of birth? No. You don't. Dr. Verman. Senator Kennedy, so I'm the one person, in, one doctor in this room that does provide abortion care, and I can tell you that does not reflect the reality of no, abortion I'm, care. No, I understand. I'm just it asking just, the question. It simply doesn't But do happen. you support it? There, there are bills before Congress that will allow that to happen. That's, you don't support it, or are you going to be a so not again, answer my the, question? 
As the doctor in this room who does provide abortion care, that is not how abortion care in this country works. It's a hypothetical that does a disservice to our patients. But if a patient to came patient, to you and said, uh, I, I'm going to probably have a baby this week and I've changed my mind and I would like you, doctor, to abort the child, would you do it? That is not how abortion care in but this if, country works. But if works. a patient did, would you do it? My job as a doctor is to look at each okay. individual situation. I mean, I I'm sorry, never... I don't mean to be rude, but I can tell neither you nor the press professor will answer my question. I, I think never... you both have an opinion, and I don't understand why you won't share it. I have We're going to solve provided... this problem. I've doctor, provided care doctor, for a few could, years, and you? I've never you... seen that situation. Could, how about you, Don? Would you? Do not support unfettered abortion, and I would like to point out that if a woman did have a life-threatening condition in pregnancy past approximately 22 weeks, that baby can be delivered alive by induction or C-section, and we can try to save that baby. The intent of abortion is a dead baby, and that is not necessary in that situation. I mean, I want you to all understand where I'm coming from. This is a tough issue, and it's a tough issue because some, there's some tough questions we've got to answer. And when you won't answer the questions, when you're invited by the, my Democratic friends, the majority, and you won't answer the most fundamental question, we've got a bill in the front of us that will basically say a, a woman has the unfettered right to abort at any time for any reason up to the moment of birth. And that's a gut check issue. And I would expect you as experts to answer that truthfully, how you do it. Thank you for your indulgence, Mr. Chairman. El enfoque de las dos progres que están a favor de que esto ocurra, a pesar de no haber pronunciado su posición, suscita profundas preocupaciones éticas y morales que no podemos pasar por alto. Primero, es fundamental reconocer que cada vida, incluso la de un no nacido, tiene un valor intrínseco. Un ser humano en cualquier etapa de su desarrollo posee un potencial único para contribuir a nuestra sociedad. Si permitimos que el aborto sea una decisión sin restricciones, corremos el riesgo de deshumanizar la vida, tratándola como un simple inconveniente en lugar de un regalo invaluable. Nos debemos preguntar, ¿realmente queremos vivir en una sociedad que considera aceptable descartar la vida de un ser humano antes de nacer? Además, el hecho de que se pueda abortar hasta el último momento plantea serias cuestiones sobre el tipo de valores que estamos promoviendo. Estamos priorizando el derecho de una mujer a elegir por encima del derecho a la vida de un bebé? Esta propuesta parece sugerir que la conveniencia personal puede justificar decisiones que afectan a seres humanos vulnerables. En lugar de fomentar un enfoque que permita a las mujeres tomar decisiones irrestrictas sobre el aborto, deberíamos centrarnos en promover un diálogo que apoye a las mujeres que enfrentan embarazos no planeados, como brindar recursos, alternativas y apoyo emocional. ¿Y tú qué opinas? Déjamelo saber en los comentarios. Y aquí culmina este video. Si te gustó, puedes darle like, comenta el video y compártelo. Asimismo, te comento que tengo muchos más videos similares que podrían gustarte mucho. Así que suscríbete a mi canal. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.